Hey, what's up, guys? It's Eli Fishman from TalkingBall.net and YouTube. Eli Fishman Sports back with another interview. Today over the phone, I'm happy to be joined by Atlanta Braves prospect Zach Bird. Zach, thanks for joining me. No problem, I'm glad to talk to you. Of course. So you were selected in the ninth round of the 2012 Major League Baseball draft straight out of high school uh, by the Los Angeles Dodgers. How did it feel to hear your name called in the Major League Baseball draft? Um, that was, uh, that was an unreal experience for me back then. Um, I was 17 years old when I got drafted, so being able to, you know, start my career and be on my way with, uh, everything I ever want, everything I hoped for, everything I wanted, so it's kind of a, just another step towards, um, uh, you know, my eventual, my eventual goals. Uh, on July 4th, you went down to the Arizona League where you made your debut against the Mariners. You pitched two innings. You gave up one hit and no runs. Those first two innings, making your debut um, and doing it in that type of fashion, starting pretty well, uh, what was that experience the first time on a, on a professional mound like? Yeah, I remember that because it was a, uh, a morning game. Um, it, was, it was great to have success in my professional debut. Because uh, I didn't really know what to expect, so to go out there and throw two score centers and uh, get a few strikeouts and have success, even even if it was at the rookie ball level, to have success at the professional level, uh, gave me a lot of confidence. And you know, it, it was just kind of first step, man. You know, me believing that I belong there. You know what I mean? Yeah. So you spent two Dodger two seasons in the Dodgers organization before you came over uh, to the Braves. You have a lot of success in both of them. Uh, your first two years, uh, you, you started off your career with the Dodgers, and they jump started your career. Uh, what, what? How'd you like your time in the Dodgers organization, and how how do you feel that they've um, helped you in the Braves organization? Um, I had a lot of fun. I had great fun uh, on both of them. Um, the Dodgers were a big class organization, so were the Braves. Um, had a different style, you know, different cultures. I won't be on West Coast, I won't be on Southern team. But uh, I had a lot of fun. The Dodgers, you know, they both have very good pitching coaches and very good pitching lines. I was able to refine a lot of parts of my games um, since I've been in both organizations. So uh, after that, your second season, you were part of a big deal, uh, an eight-player deal that sent you, Hector Olivera, Oliveira, Paco Rod and Paco Rodriguez to the Atlanta Braves for five five players, four of which were forty-man roster guys to be a part of this uh, eight-guy blockbuster deal um, and be a centerpiece in the trade. Uh, and going to a new team, the Atlanta Braves, what was that trade like? And getting the call that you're going to a new, a new organization. Yeah, that, that was, um, that was a, a really wild night. Like, with, through a wild experience because one of my roommates, Jeff Brigham, that trade to the Marlins too. And he, um, he was in the trade and he was pitching the game. So he had to come out of the game in the middle of the game while he's on the mound. And turns out later that night I was traded as well. Um, but, I was glad to be traded, even though I really enjoyed being at the Dodgers organization. It was, when I got traded to the Braves, I actually got promoted to Double A and pitched in my hometown, which was a great experience. So it was a good time I was growing up. And that was that was a fun time. And I grew up as a Braves fan, so I'm happy to be with the organization. This season, uh, you got to pitch in spring training with Atlanta um, for one game. You pitched against the Detroit Tigers um, in the eighth inning. To come in in the eighth inning of a spring training game with big league talent in front of thousands of fans uh, in a big league atmosphere, what was that like? Yeah, that was fun because I've always wanted to pitch in a big league spring training game, and I think it was my fourth, fourth spring training. That was my first time I should pitch in a big league spring training game. But even though I only faced one batter and only threw three pitches, it was fun just you know see how the other pitch big league pitchers prepared and think kind of how, about, how everybody went about their business. So it was uh, it was fun. I enjoyed it. And it, that was one of the few games that was televised, so my family was able to see their, see their Zach on TV. So that was fun, too. Season you struggled um, a little bit. Um, it, was, it wasn't it was your best season, um, but you're still one of the top guys in the Atlanta or organization. This next season, going into spring training, what are you going to do this offseason to help 
tell the Atlanta Braves, say, hey, I'm better these stat than these stats that I posted this past season? Um, I think you said that because I'm actually getting ready to go to a drive line in Washington at the gym with Trevor Bauer and Tyler Skaggs and all those guys work out at. But, uh, yeah, it, it was a rough season for me. I um, met double my ERA and pretty much every other stat uh, this year. And it turns out that wasn't feeling good the whole year. And that's to be August and Trevor had a torn hip labrum. So I was kind of trying to pitch through the whole year. So I got that taken care of and I'm ready to work out all this off season, ready to go up to Seattle and I'll come back to spring training and, you know, show, show them what so I don't know if they follow me before they uh, trade for me. So, you know, it's, a, it's kind of a lost season, but it's in the past, and it's got to keep kind of got to keep moving forward. You've had a pretty good five years in the Braves um, and Dodgers systems so far. Out of these five years, you've pitched a lot of games, had a lot of great experiences. What moment in your career has been the best so far? Um, in 2013, I was struggling big time. I mean, not the way I was this past year, but I was 18 years old and I was the youngest American in low A. And I uh, struggled there and I got demoted to um, short season in Ogden. And I still struggled. And I was there and I was, I was kind of immature. I was 18 and I was struggling and I felt like the world was coming down over around me. And I was kind of taking it a little bit too seriously. And a field coordinator we had named Bruce Hines, he sat me down and he talked to me for about an hour. You know, just kind of put things in perspective for me, just saying, you know, you're 18, you're trying to do all these things for other people, but you're not going to let them down because they're going to be proud of you anyway. And, you know, right immediately after the very next day, I went out. I pitched one of the best games of my career. I, I, I think it was against the uh, Rockies, great team, and through six innings, gave a, had nine strikeouts, I think one run. So that was my best, best game of my career, and it kind of showed you. All right. Thank you so much, Zach. Best of luck for the rest of your career. Thanks so much for joining me. I'm Eli Fishman from TalkingBall.net and YouTube. Eli Fishman Sports. I'll see you next time on Talking Ball.